Alan. The first one is, uh, can random vibration analysis take into account contact with other parts? Okay. Um, contact uh, is a, uh, a nonlinearity. Um, just like, uh, you know, large displacement effects or uh, nonlinear materials. Um, so typically, I like to um, I like to uh, kind of uh, give you a couple ways of going forward there. Um, the uh, the random vibration um, where you're using a, a solution 111 is uh, it's really a, a linear dynamic response analysis. So if you want to stick with the linear linear uh, dynamic type solution, um, tip, you'll probably want to make some assumptions whether it's a, it's a closed type contact or an open type of contact. If it's a closed type contact, um, then maybe you could just use a, a stiff spring to represent that. Um, if it's open, then maybe it's uh, you know a, 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 a spring with a relatively uh, small uh, value type stiffen stiffness. Now, if you really want to uh, really take into account something that's you know opening and closing, um, where you really want to capture that nonlinear effect, um, you could use a, a nonlinear transient analysis. Um, which does allow you to capture any nonlinear effect you need. Um, and the other side of that is uh, um, for some something where um, it's, uh, I, I've done a project in the past where it's uh, like a BARS test where, um, you know, it's uh, simulating the effects of an explosion and the resulting vibration that uh, is an effect of that. Um, and then uh, since it's deflecting so much, it's actually, uh, you know, hitting the, uh, um, the, the base of the floor um, from that vibration. Um, typically, it's uh, you, usually you want to use either a nonlinear transient type solution or a uh, our explicit solver. Um, our NEI explicit solver is very good at handling contact and vibration at the same time. <laughs>